Welcome back. So in this lesson we are going to be finding a polynomial if we're given a set of zeros. So, for an example of such a problem that you may come across in your homework, uh, you'll be given a set of zeros. Say you have negative 3, negative 1, and 2. And your polynomial um, it might tell you is a degree 3, meaning that the leading coefficient will be raised to the third power. Okay, so the first thing we need to remember um, is that the zeros are x-intercepts and the x-intercepts are part of a factor. Say that the zero is represented by the letter r and the factor is x minus r. So our polynomial will be made up of factors like this, x minus r, say r1, x minus r2, etc. So we can find a polynomial just given the zeros, and there are lots of different possibilities based on compression and different transformations. Um, but uh, your homework will probably just ask you to give you any example of this. So, say you have your function of x. So you just set this up first. And the next thing you do is take a look at your zeros and you say minus, so you say set it up x minus and then minus negative 3. So that's going to be x plus 3. x minus negative 1 is x plus 1 times x minus 2. All right, that's good. Um, but now we just need to get it out in the polynomial form, a format, which is that long one. So uh, what we can do is use the ancient method, the FOIL method. And so yeah, we do the first outside, inside, last. And so we just take it two at a time, just take it two at a time. Take it easy. And so we'll keep the first. Oh, I just got a phone message. That's cool. Okay, we keep the first set in its own parentheses. So we have first x squared, 3x um, plus 3 times x plus 1 times x is 4x uh, plus 3 times 1 is 3. Easy. Okay, that was good. Okay, now we have times x minus 2. So we just do an extended version of FOIL, basically. So we're going to have, let's see. Oh, I don't need to write that in parentheses. We are going to have the x squared times x is x cubed. 4x times x is 4x squared. And 3 times x is 3x. And then we multiply all these by negative 2. So you have negative 2x squared. I'm going to run out of space. And negative 8x is negative 2 times 4x. And negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And then we can combine like terms. So like terms, we have x squared. So there's a 4x squared and a negative 2x squared. And we have a 3x and a negative 8x. And then we have our final answer, as Regis Philbin might say, on who wants to be a millionaire. So <laughs> x cubed and 4x squared minus 2x squared is positive 2x squared. 3x minus 8x will be negative 5x and negative 6. And that's your answer right there. Okay, now we might get a little more complicated by adding multiplicity, but it's really not that much more complicated. So say for example, we have zero is negative three with a multiplicity of two. And then another zero might be zero with a multiplicity of one. Okay. So we have function of x equals, okay, 
um, have our factors um, x minus 3 minus negative 3 x minus negative 3 is x plus 3 okay multiplicity of 2 all that means is we put a square on there a 2 on there just throw a 2 on it and then for the 0 we say x minus 0 that's just x so really we just have that times x and then we use foil again to get this all out so we have x times 3 or x plus 3 times x plus 3 so that's going to come out to x squared plus 6x plus 9 am I still on screen? yes okay um, and all that times x so our final answer is that your final answer? yeah I had to say it okay x cubed um, x times x squared is x cubed plus 6x squared plus 9x and that is our final answer and that is how we find polynomials if we're given zeros